first thing we need to address is the apps that I use to create my intros and my outros and I use Kind Master and Zepito. I think the correct way to pronounce that is Zepeto, but I like to call it Zepito. And this is where I create all of my cute little video and pictures for my family. These are my family members and this is where I create them and if you want a more detailed video on how to use this app let me know okay so those these are all my intros and my outros and I have this one intro let me find it this one because it had the Sun behind it I created a shadow if you guys notice there's shadows down here and this did take me some time and I want to show you as quickly as I can how I created this intro the first thing that we need to do is we need to get those videos from Zepito we come up to photo booth and hard to remember where all of these are at so let's just pick one now since this is a video we need to pretend that we're doing a green screen so we need to come down and pick our background and put a green screen we're gonna save that and I'm gonna do the same thing for all of my family members now for Trinity Zepito, since she has a yellow hoodie on, I cannot use the green green screen because it starts to take away some of her yellow. So I actually pick purple for her green screen. And that is something you might have to play with depending on what colors your Zepito is wearing. Alright, so I like my intros to be about 10 seconds long so we're going to drag this down and then it doesn't quite fill the whole screen we have some black over here so we come up to here and we just pull that out okay now for the fun part we create a new layer and we find our zapitos we come to chroma key enable bring this up and this is how we create our little video with green screen so the way I did it is I had the mom and the dad starting off this little dance here let's get the dad <laughs> go to chroma key enable Bring that up a little bit. Dad is taller than mom. It's one thing I wish the pedo had was you could change body shape. That would be great. Make sure they're starting at the same time. All right, so right now this looks like I'm behind him which of course then I'm going to be smaller but we want to make sure that people know that I am smaller so we click on my layer and bring that to the front and then I don't know maybe he's a little too tall <laughs> not really because I really come up to my husband's shoulder but that would make him look like a giant so Again, I wish they had body shapes and sizes on Zepito, but okay. Now I just need to decide how long. I think I want the parents to go to about there. So then we're going to trim it to the right, trim this to the right. And then to create that shadow, we have to duplicate that layer at 
Then we come down to rotate. And we're going to flip it. And then we're going to drag it down. All right, and then you got to come to adjustment. Bring down. <laughs> everything until we have a black shadow. Now, of course, the shadow is not going to be that dark. So then we come to alpha opacity. This is where we adjust and I'm trying to match it with the shadows that I naturally see on these trees back here. So if I remember that's at 33, so then I can do the same thing with his shadow. So we do the same thing, duplicate that. Rotate it. I need to send that backward, send it backward, send it backward. So it's behind him. An adjustment. And then we go to alpha opacity and bring that down to 33. And now they have their shadows to dance with. All right, one little detail that I do in here. Right now, when you watch this, they just disappear. So what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of an out animation. We want to do a little bit of a fade, like just a smidgen. Let me come down and do it to her. Now we also have to do it to the shadows. So an out animation fade and on his shadow as well. Now, of course, if you like just the disappearing or whatever you want to do, that is totally up to you. But I like a gradual. Okay. So I was waiting for this to happen. So Zapita only supports so many layers. So what we're going to do is delete that so it doesn't freak it out. Then we have to export this. So you'll want to make sure your first layers are exactly the way you want them to be. Since it only supports so many layers, if you're needing more layers, this is how you get away with more layers. You get your video you just exported. I think when I made this one, I had to do this twice to have all the layers fit. <laughs> so the easiest way, as I was about to explain, is we get the Zepito, get the chroma key, and then we delete to the left where we want her to come in. And then we do the same thing with hers. Let's make sure we have her where we want her to be. So there's room to fit all of her siblings. Then we duplicate. Flip it and make sure it's behind her. And I did not, <laughs> I did not do the chroma key good enough. You can see her legs are see-through. There we go. <laughs> okay, duplicate that. Alright, 
bring her shadow down and again we need to adjust that and the opacity down to 33 to match the other ones and we want to have her fade in as well so in animation is going to be a small fade on her and her shadow in animation so so far we have the parents starting the dance and the kids are gonna come in Now after they're dancing, this is where I pop in a picture. And you can you know, do video the whole time or just pictures, totally up to you. But I have fun mixing both of them. We're gonna pick, let's do this one. This is really cute. So we're gonna have a fade not forget the fade. <laughs> this is also where I stick in our channel name. And if you want, you can throw in a little subscribe. You can do any of these fun little animations. And this app does come with a built-in little mouse clicker. I don't know what you want to call it, the little mouse hover thing, and it, and it does a little clicky motion. Interface 1995. Let me size that. And it'll keep clicking for as long as you have this. So we're gonna trim that so it clicks once. And the last thing that I love to do is I come over here and do a video fade out so that it has a nice transition leading right into the video that I'm gonna put it on. So this is how I create my intros, or at least this is specifically how I create this intro and you can use these techniques to expand and create so many different things. Also if you're interested, I have been creating custom intros and outros for other YouTubers. I do have my fee set, but if you're interested in having me create one for you, just DM me over on Instagram and we can work out a price that works for you. But I have been enjoying creating these so much. And I just think they're so cute and I just love them. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.
much for watching. Be sure to click here to follow our journey. And click here to watch our last video. We'll see you next time.